Wow, I have not, <clears throat> I have not been here. All right, birdies, come on. I have not been here in such a long time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, 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 so sorry that I took so long to um do a new video. Um, life has been lifing. I've been very, very busy. Um, my face is breaking out, so I don't really like to record videos um, with my face looking a little crazy, but I said, Sierra, you know what? I said, Sierra, you know what? Um, it's time to get this started, so just try to not look, try to not look, and I don't really like wearing makeup too much, so didn't feel like covering it, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know I always start my videos off with a song, whatever song I'm listening to at that time. One, I don't know if you guys can hear, um, my neighbors are actually playing music outside. So if you guys can hear that, and I put my birds outside so y'all can probably still hear them. I deeply apologize again, okay? I decided today, I'm just gonna record this video by hell high water. So that's why you guys hear everything. <laughs> so the song I'm listening to, I listen to the song every day. When I say every day, um, every single day. Because one, <clears throat> he's one of my, well, he was <laughs> one of my favorite artists. Um, love all his music. I feel like he was very underrated and people are only now starting to rate him because he passed away. It is Blacks. I know from the time I said that, everybody really know what song I've listened to. Every time I hear this in a party, I start to cry. And everybody laughs at me. Like, I think I have a clip, so I'm gonna show y'all the clip of my two friends laughing at me, okay? Two fingers out here. Two fingers out here. I said, we represent the King of Shoka in this old way block. Put two bottle cup fingers out here. Here goes. Wait, come on. Oh gosh. Why? I'm just a stranger in a crowded place. Me and the cooler and the day. Hoping to find someone with a familiar face. So we could get on Saturday. If this is not the time to be alone. I'm trying so hard not to cry right now. I want you to jump on somebody now. Hold on somebody now. Keep them company. I want you to jump on somebody now. Hold on somebody now. Make them your company. Let me mash up, we mash up, we mash up. <laughs> I would mess around and play the whole song. So let me just stop it. Let me just stop it there. But yes, that song is Mash Up by Blacks. Um, one of the last few songs he left for us is such a gem. Like it's it, it's just explaining everything that we should do when we outside. So yeah, that was my little snippet. And let's get this video started. <laughs> Once again, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so this video I actually recorded um, in January. And I recorded all my clips, like everything was good. Um, and I was starting to edit it. And then I don't know, there was some parts of the video I like, some parts I didn't like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta re-record this. And then like I said, life was life in. And I just never went back to it. So this is 
the Telfar video once again. Um, and it's so funny because since I last recorded my clips, <laughs> I think I added about four or five bags to my last um, total. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm actually kind of happy that I waited to um, record this video because now I have more things to add in the video. I have more content. So I have so many bags that I had to write out <laughs> exactly the order that I wanted everything. Oh, exactly the order I wanted everything to go. So I'm going to be, if you ever see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my guide. Okay, so while it's still the beginning of the video, I want you guys to try to guess how many bags I have. And then towards the end, um, you can see if your guess was correct. I put the poll on Instagram a couple months ago. I couldn't find it, so I'm not going to put up any clips from that poll. But some people were saying like five. Somebody was like, it's given 12. Somebody said it was given two. I'm like, yeah, no, there's nowhere near that number. I think the only two people that was close to the total was my mom and my friend JR. So let's see if you guys are right. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you guys know this video is going to be long. It's going to be at least an hour long. So if you don't have an hour of your time to sit down and watch all of this, this is not the video for you, okay? So we're gonna start with the unboxing. Um, I have one, two, three, four, I have five things to unbox, okay? So be patient. <laughs> So this is what this one came in. I'm gonna cover my address, but am I covering it? Okay. This is what it came in. This is the first one. I don't know which I don't know which box or which bag this is because um once I get the package, I kind of just put them together. So this one will be a surprise. This is the Okay. Okay. So, I guess I can, I was going to do this for the other bags, but I guess I can show you some opening it. This is what it comes in. And I love the fact that it comes like this because one, it has the name of the bag on it. So, if, if you're someone like me that has a lot of bags, when especially when I'm rushing to like get to work or get to a party or get to an event, dinner, anywhere I'm going, I need to go through bags and bags and bags. So this makes it so convenient because instead of opening the drawstring, drawstring part, I can just look here. So fun fact, <laughs> this bag came out last year, right? And the same time it came out, I had just bought the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. So that bag was like a hot pink or pink bag as well. So I didn't buy this bag because I'm like, I don't need two pink bags. But then when my friend had the Azalea bag, I was like, wow, I actually like this color. I wouldn't mind having two hot pink bags. And then Telfar did not drop the bag for the whole year. They actually just dropped the bag about two weeks ago. They dropped it in May of 2021. And then last year they dropped it April. No, I'm sorry, May of 2022. And they dropped it last year. Um, April 2021. So the Telfar bags come in this drawstring bag, which I think is totally amazing. And this is my Azalea. So I love this color. Like, I think this is my last Telfar bag that I'm getting because I don't need any more. But oh, look at this color, guys. This is like so, this is just amazing. Like, who could not like this? Azalea. Okay, I hope I'm saying that right too. But yeah, I love this color. I'm actually gonna wear this today. So wherever I go today, I'm wearing this. So number one. Okay, so this second one now, um, I think it might be two things because the box is kind of big. So usually I get the, um, the belt. I get the belt with the bag. Almost every bag I have a belt with. So whatever bag I don't have the belt to, they either didn't have the belt when they dropped the bag or they never made the belt. So like in the last, um, the last bag I just did, the last bag I just did the Azalea, they didn't create a belt for that or else I would have bought it. So this one is the gray. Oh my gosh, yes, I always wanted the gray too. This came out this year, 2022 as well. So this is what the belt comes in. Such a pretty box black and nice put the box right down this is such a nice box 
And then it also comes in a drawstring bag. Ooh, look at that. So I'm liking the new Telfar belts. When I get one of the older belts in the video, I can compare it. His new belts have a bigger um, T. So I like it, but I don't like it because I have a gut. So when I'm trying to like tighten it, my gut kind of be sitting on the belt. So I kind of like the old style better when it comes to my stomach. But looks, I like this better. So this is the gray Telfar belt. Nice. Let me roll it back together. My grandma's gonna come home and see this mess. I'm gonna be like, what the hell are you doing in my living room? But I'd rather record in the living room than my room because it's more space. This is the gray bag. Nice. This is nice. Look at this. This I could have used this in the winter time because I had like my um my gray Uggs that I could have wore with this, but it's okay. So this is the gray. All right. <laughs> I'm so awkward sometimes. <laughs> okay, so this is another wide box. So this is probably another belt and bag. Hmm. There's no belt in here. It's only a bag. That's weird. Hold on guys. Okay guys, so I found the belt, thank God. So this is the corned beef. Never worn um, corned beef color. I got the color cause I thought it was like so nice, like so nice. So this is the belt. Like I said, this is one of the newer belts that have the big logo on it. And this is the belt. And then, the small corned beef. I'm sorry, all this time I wasn't telling y'all what size. Every bag I've shown you guys so far was the small, okay? They have a small, a medium, and a large. So I have all three size bags so I can show you guys the difference in sizes when we get there. So this, come on, come on. This is the medium. Medium Sierra, when you just this small. This is the small corned beef. And I think corned beef is such a funny name because I just, I just eat corned beef and rice all the time. So the fact that I have a bag after a food that I just eat is crazy. But this is the combo. I usually like to get the belt and the bag because sometimes it's hard. Well, not hard, but you have to find a color to directly match this. Whereas if I'm wearing like a jeans and a top with sandals or sneakers or boots or whatever, and I have this like... That's not, I don't need to find anything to really match because I can wear any color shirt, any color pants, any color shoes. As long as I have this combo, it's perfect. So I don't know if you guys want to do the same thing that I do, but that makes it 100% easier. Okay, so small belt. Actually, yeah, small belt because this is a small and small. Okay, this box is a flat box. So it's probably only one thing in here. So I'm using my handy dandy. Box cutter. Oh, this is new. Oh, I forgot that I bought this. Okay, so this is a special bag, right? This is the, the, um, it's a, what you call it, a collab. So this is the Telfar and Eastpac collab. So I don't know if, if you guys know what Eastpac is, but I think it's a brand um, of backpacks. Sorry, there's something on my finger from the box. Okay, yes, it's a brand of backpacks. And okay, so this is a black bag, so let's see. So one, this is what the bag looks like. It's like the drawstring, um, like the other bags. I feel like it, it does have the color on it, so that's good, but I feel like you could be able to notice what it is because it's not the same 
it's not the 100% same as the last one, so you can easily tell the difference there. So let's try to open this. Wow, it's my first time seeing this. I totally forgot that I bought this. That's bad because that showed that I shop too much, but okay. It's just like the black bag. The only difference is it has a zipper, yes. Yes, and these, perfect, these are adjustable. So I could take this off. Cause you know, not everybody likes the long, the long um, straps. And this is good for me because every time I go to a party and I use my Telfar bag, something falls out because I'm either jumping around <laughs> or being crazy. So this is actually really good. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Okay, so it has like a little East Pack thing. Oh, I have the side, so I can put something here. Nothing, it's not huge, so you can't put like a drink or anything here, but anything small. And then, okay, inside has a snap pocket, which is different from the other Telfar bags. Two snap pockets, okay. And yeah, I think I'm all for the zipper, so this is nice. I love this. Okay. All right, Telfar. All right. Okay, so this is a bigger box. This is a bigger box. So this is most likely a medium-sized bag or a large-sized bag. Because this box is huge. Ooh, another East Pack and Telfar collab. I definitely forgot that I bought these. Like, I shopped too much. Wow. Okay, so this is the East Pack. X Telfar medium shopper. Okay, so I probably got this is probably the medium backpack. Okay, this is good. I most likely got this for work because I carry my computer and iPad and stuff. So and it has the back straps. This is wicked. Wicked. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, so the inside is not the biggest. This could definitely fit my computer and a couple stuff, but it can't fit much. So maybe I should have got the large for work, but this is nice. I actually, fun fact, I wanted to get, actually, I'll just say that when it gets to the black. So this one has a zipper, a pocket, um, Okay, it has this that you just saw me clip off, this net thing, and then you can close this. Once again, it has the adjustable straps, but I probably, I probably feel like I would never use that because it's a backpack, so I probably wouldn't need that. And then it has the side pockets. This one, you could probably fit a drink because it's bigger. But let me put this on my back. Oh, wow. Turn around and show you. <laughs> all right guys don't mind sorry but this is what it looks like on the back this is cute i don't know y'all let me know like is this cute it feels cute i'm looking at it in the tv um reflection but this looks cute i, I like this yeah i like that all right <sighs> that was i think that concludes my unboxing i don't think i have any more things to open so let's get back to my handy dandy clipboard so so far i did five bags right so first we did the azalea then we did the gray we did the corned beef we did the small zipper bag and then we did the medium backpack so that's five bags and two belts i'm excited okay damn I did my count wrong with the belts. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Slight intermission, but my skin looks nice. And then this is just ruining it. Like, this has to go away. And then this too. Like, when I get acne, I get it in the same spot. Like, go away. My face was so clear. And my edges don't want to slick. Ugh, today is just a crazy day out here. Okay, guys, let's keep this going because, like I said, we have a long video. This is technically starting the first 
set up all of my bags. You know, we did this part. So now it's time to do all of this. So, yeah. The first bag is my hands down favorite. Not only because it's my favorite color, but because it's the only color that I have in all three sizes and the belt. So we're going to start with the red, of course. Um, this is what the belt looks like. So remember, I was telling you guys that this belt, um, this is the older belt. And I'm going to compare it to the new one for you guys right now. If I can find it. Okay, got it. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference. So you see, this is what the old one looks like. So it's small. As you can see, it has a lot of scratches because I wear this belt a lot. Because like I said, it's my favorite color, so I wear it a lot. This is it compared to the new belt. So I don't know if you guys, you guys can tell. Well, you guys can definitely tell the difference. But see, this one is bigger. The shaping. I mean, there's still the same T. The TC. It's still the same TC. But you, you can clearly see a difference. Like, clearly. It's bigger. This one is smoother. It feels different. It's more circular. Whereas this one is not. So, yeah. That's the difference between those. So, this is the red belt. This is the small red bag so so amazing so vibrant so nice this is the medium bag so this is what the small looks like compared to it the medium is a great size too like i will use this for work and i used um this as a carry-on not this bag i think i used my yellow one as a carry-on but um this this is good like it fits a lot there's some stuff in the bag right now so i'm not going to show you guys the inside actually i can so don't mind the little mess in here, but this is the inside. It has the zipper pocket that can fit a lot of stuff. And it might look flat now, but you can definitely fit a lot in here. So this is the small, the medium, and this is the, the large that I also use as a carry-on. Fun fact, I went to Miami in October of 2021, and I still have the stuff in here from when I went, like a mini lotion the the travel stuff for all my alkies that go on the plane i still have my <laughs> carry on size of johnny walker like vix a mirror a toothbrush if anybody needs a toothbrush you can have it it's never open but yeah and this is what the large looks like compared to the medium so it's definitely it's significantly different sizings and i love each and every one so here we have small red medium red large red and the belt okay i don't know why i did it in this order on my clipboard i did red pink and ox blood but i'm gonna switch that order i'm gonna do the ox blood next because this is it's like a shade of red. Well, not a shade of red, it's burgundy. Well, that is a shade of red, but this is burgundy. So this is the small ox blood, right? What is this on my bag? Yes, this is the small ox blood. And then I also have the belt. So I was skeptical on getting this at first because I'm like, yo, like the colors are all the same. Like, I don't know. It's actually significantly different. So this is the oxblood and this is the red. So as you can see, the red is like more vibrant and the oxblood is literally more of like a burgundy. So I actually wanted to get the medium to this, but I think when the medium had came out, I don't know where I was, but then I looked down at the time and this is when the bags were selling fast, fast, fast. So when I looked down at it, I think when I looked down at the time, it was like 9.05 or 9 something. And then by the time I logged on and went to get it, boom, it was gone. So I'm still waiting for the ox blood to drop again so I can get the medium bag. But this is, um, yeah, the ox blood. Okay, next we have the bubblegum pink. And <laughs> a funny story with this. I can't do a story with every bag, but I feel like I have a story for every bag. Still going to try to keep it under an hour, guys. I promise. So, this was the first bag I actually tried to get. 
the bubblegum pink. Because I remember my friend putting me on about Telfar, like the company or whatever. I'm like, oh, like those bags are actually cute. It's black owned. There's only $150. Like I should get that because the other bags I have, I'm spending all $200, $300 on bags from a company that's not black owned. I might as well, you know, do that. And I didn't know. She said, oh, it sells out in minutes. But, you know, people are dramatic. So I'm like, oh, she's so dramatic. Like, blah, 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 blah. And then when the bag came out, I would never forget. Every time, like, it's 9, something my birthday, September 16th. So every time I see the time, 9, 16, I get mad hype. So remember, the, some of the times the bags drops at 9 a.m. Sometimes it drops at 12 p.m. So this time it was dropping at 9. So when I looked, I'm like, oh, it's 9, 16. It's my birthday. Then I'm like, wait, the bag was supposed to drop today. So when I went online, by the time it was 9, 16, all the bags were sold out. So I was like what so i got mad and then after that that's when i started like putting the initiative to get the bag so just a little story time on the bubblegum pink but this was the first bag i actually wanted to get because i like how the pink look but i didn't get it that time i actually got this bag through bag security because yeah got through bag security so this is the bubblegum pink this is the belt this is the small bubblegum pink I, this is like, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but I like to wear this bag a lot because I like the color. So this is so nice. I just like how it's, it's actually bright. And when you wear it outside, um, it's also bright as well. But if you take a picture, sometimes of how the flash is, this bag could actually pass for the white bag. Because I have a couple pictures with this bag where it looks white, but it's actually baby pink. But it's so, it's so nice. Like, I like the color. It gets dirty fat. Okay, that's definitely probably from one of my jeans because that's blue. That's crazy. But yeah. And I also have the medium pink. I had to. Only thing I don't like about the lighter color bags, and I don't know if it's just my fault, the color like changes. So I wore leather pants one day and look at this. Like terrible. So I have to go and get that cleaned. But this is the medium bubblegum pink. This is the small and this is the belt so i want to do all the pinks and the reds together so you guys can see what they look like did like side by side so you can decide if you want to get all of them or not so where's the corned beef that's great okay so i'm gonna show you guys all of the bags together i'm trying to hold it as to the best of my ability but this is the corned beef right this is the azalea I'm trying not to cover it trying to see how i can hold it where you can see it both of them okay this is the all right guys all right azalea ox blood red and bubblegum pink so as you can see all of them are significantly different colors so if you was ever trying to see which ones you should get i probably probably say the ones that are close no they're not close maybe nah they're not close so you guys can definitely get all of them so corned beef small corned beef small ox blood small bubblegum pink small azalea and the small red so, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's eleven so far. Thank you. 
Is it recording? Okay, I did a little camera switch, guys. So hopefully this one's a little better. So next we have this small orange. I actually really like this bag because it's so vibrant. Um, coming back from Miami, I don't know what happened in my suitcase, but it kind of got messed up. So very sad about that. But um, yeah, this bag is also another vibrant color bag. I only wear this color, honestly, with all white because that's when it looks best. And I also have the belt to match, of course. So we have the orange belt and the orange bag. Yeah, like I said, I always wear it um, all white because one, I have, a, I have a good bit of orange shoes, which is surprising. I have like two orange sandals and two orange heels. So I've worn those to events. And I just feel like a lot of the Telfar bags, especially with the matching belts, because the color is so bright, I feel like it only ever looks good <laughs> with all white. But yeah, once I learn another color that it could go with, then I'm gonna let y'all know. But once again, this is the small. Next up is the small yellow. So according to my handy dandy clipboard that got bent, um, small yellow should be number 13. So anybody that said under 10 bags, you guys are crazy because we're already at 13. And yellow is only right here and it's still this much of the page and this page left to go. So yes, this is what the small yellow looks like. Um, another vibrant color. If you notice, all the bags I have are most likely gonna be bright colors. I have some dark colors, but most of them are light because I like to look like a highlighter. So yeah, only thing with this yellow, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's not a bright, like clothing wise, it's not a bright yellow, it's more of like a darkish yellow because everybody that knows me know I love SpongeBob. So all my SpongeBob clothes are like a bright yellow and this doesn't particularly match, but particularly, is that a word? <laughs> if I said it properly, I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but it doesn't match to the T. And I know Telfar dropped two other bag colors. I think one is mustard and one is like margin or like a different type of yellow. But um, I don't wear it that much. So I wasn't going to get three yellow bags, if that makes sense. But this is the small. And I also have the, um, let me press it off. I also have the medium yellow. I used this as a carry-on when I went to Vegas last year and everything went pretty fine. So it's the same thing with the inside of the bag and then the zipper. And then of course I have the belt. So this is the yellow. Now we are gonna um, transition, transition into the greens. So the first green bag that I have is actually the small double mint. And it's cute. It might match the shirt a little bit. Mm, yeah, kind of. Not really. But this is the small double mint. And um, I got this bag 2021. And it's it's cute. It's it's cute. When, I, when this bag had dropped, it, it didn't have a belt to it. I think they have the belt now. So I'll probably buy it in a couple months. I don't need it right now. But as it's summertime, maybe I should get it because it's a bright color. But um, this is not the double. When I hear mint, I'm thinking of more like. Where's my lip gloss I just had? I was thinking more of this color. So it's kind of not the color I was expecting. But it's. I like it like i still like it i don't really have much clothes that could match this so i think i've probably worn this bag like three times if that since i had it so once i get more clothes to match it then i can definitely wear it more often but yeah this is the double mint the next green bag that i have is actually the small green screen and this bag is so cute like <laughs> it's so cute i got this to match my um i have these toy bird slides that match these it's funny it matched this one and it matched the other green bag that i have that i'm showing you guys next and they're two totally different colors but the sandals go with both so i find that so funny this is another bag that when it dropped it did not have a belt and then now it has the belt so i'm probably going to get that as well but 
I don't wear that's the same way I am with the I think I said the yellow. I'm like that with the green. I don't really have much green clothes. Now I'm starting to wear it a little bit more because I bought these um green sneakers and I bought like another green bag from a different brand. So now I'm trying to buy more green clothing. But it's either a vibrant green like this one or the one from before, or it's like a sage green. So it's like, it's different shades of green. So I gotta keep buying different shades of clothes, but it's okay, I'll make something happen. This is the small green screen. Okay, the last green bag that I have is the dark olive. So this is the small dark olive. This is the bag that I said also goes with the um the Tory Bird sandals that I have. So this one is, is pretty cool. I got this because one of my friends, she had it, and I liked how it was so versatile, how she wore it with different things. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could get the same thing and see how I like it. And it's cool. So I liked it so much that I ended up getting the medium as well. So I have the small and the medium. And y'all already know if I have these two, then I have the belt. So yeah, I'm just going to compare the colors for you guys. So you guys can see how even though they're all green they're significantly different so this is the double mint this is the green screen and these are the dark olives so i'm not sure if this is another green bag i think telfar had dropped the sage green but i didn't get that because that was before i started buying sage green clothes and now i wish i got it because now i have more to add like more in my wardrobe that i can add to outfits but it's okay he's probably gonna drop it again this year or next year so maybe i'll get it maybe but yes these are the different colors so if you're a green person definitely get you some green all right let me stop for now and we are now up to number 19 and this is the small black this is also one of the bags I got during the bag security. I didn't explain it the last time, but the bag security is actually um, the point in time where you have, I think it's 24 to 48 hours to order any bag you want. Like small, medium, large, doesn't matter what color, you can order any bag. The only thing is it takes about three to, I think it's like three to six months to ship. I think I did mine in March and I got my bag in July. Yeah, so that's about four months. So three to six months. But the bag, like it's, the, it's literally the same exact bag. It just takes very, very long to ship. I think the shipping window, when you order it in March, the window was between July. I did 2021, not this year. So between July, July 15th and September 15th. But I received all my bags in July. So I had it in time for my birthday. Um, and I also have the belt as you can see wear and tear it's another belt that i wear all the time this actually is one of my top five favorite bags because it literally can go with everything i just like how smooth it is so this is how these two look together number 20 is the small white this bag gets dirty so easy as you can see here there's a stain that refuses to come off and then inside is actually kind of dirty too but fun fact this is the third Telfar bag that I ever bought, like out of all of them, this is the third. And this is the first bag that I received that I also got the matching belt. I was so excited. I took so many pictures the day that it was um, delivered. My grandma was like, oh, like, this is so nice. I'm just like, you know, no, chill. The only thing I don't like, of course, is because it's white. So it gets dirty and it's hard to get the stains off. Even the belt has like a little stain that I'm still trying to take off, but. Overall, this is another bag that goes with everything, of course, because it's white. I just wish it didn't get dirty so fast. All right, guys, we are half, we're finally halfway. We're finally halfway. So we're gonna get into the purples now. So this one, this bag, I don't know why I bought this bag because I don't have, I think I have one purple shirt. But this is the small lavender that I also bought last year. So this is like, this reminds me of the bubblegum pink because in the light, this also looks like a white bag when it's not. Even now it kind of looks like it's white, but it's actually lavender. And then a couple weeks ago, I think they dropped this color again, but the first time around they did not, um, they didn't have the belts, but then the second time around they created the belts. So I ended up just buying the belt. 
and this is how you can see that it's one of the new ones because it has like the new logo and not the old one i also have the small eggplant another bag that i don't know why i bought because i don't have i literally have no clothes to match this i wore this once with a dress because it had like a purple line in it i don't know why i have this bag because i don't wear purple but this is the eggplant and this is the lavender this also when this when this dropped it didn't have a belt but now it has a belt and i was skeptical i'm like should i buy it should i not i don't think i'm gonna buy the belt but if i change my mind you guys will see it in the future but this is the small eggplant this is the small lavender and this is the lavender belt okay so the next color series we're gonna do is the blue well are the blues and the first up is the small navy this is the first telfar bag that i have ever bought well the first one that i actually tried and got through i've tried a couple times before that but i missed it so this is the small navy um it, it reminds me of the black because it looks like the black but when you put them hand in hand you could totally you could definitely see a difference but this is the small and the same time i bought the small don't mind this thing i feel like all my bags have stained like i'm so sorry but this is the medium one you can see this one has a lot of wear and tear because well not wear and tear but you can see that it's been worn a lot because remember this was the, the first few that i received so i was wearing this every day like to work go to the store like i was wearing it everywhere because i was so hype i'm like oh yeah i'm part of telfar gang blah 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 so this is like the inside no i showed you the inside already and then the little pocket and then yeah they did not drop a belt when this came out and i'm not sure if there's a belt now but i have a couple blue belts so i don't need any more so the next one is the small painter's tape and it's not in the container because I actually wore it yesterday. So since I wore it yesterday, I can show you what can fit in here. So I love this one. When this dropped, it didn't have a belt, but now I have a belt. So I need to buy the belt because this is one of my favorite um, bags. Only because of how vibrant the color is. Like I love, I love, 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 love this color. And I don't know why. But what's in here is my mini perfume. I'm going to show you guys I'm taking it out. So, my mini perfume. My keys. Y'all see my SpongeBob? <laughs> my keys. My wallet. My lotion. A lip gloss. AirPod case. And a mask so as you guys can see i'm recording with one phone and my other phone's on charger so i can't really show you how many could fit but i have an 11 pro max and a 12 pro max so both phones can fit and as you can see everything else can fit it's just how you position it so make sure everything is like flat because if you don't position everything properly nothing will be able to fit in this bag only thing is the bag is supposed to be able to close like this but my bag never closed because i always have a hundred things in here so this is what it looks like and it's not even filled all the way to the top and that's everything i just showed you guys so that's everything that can fit and this is the small painter's tape what bag do i have here you know i gotta keep looking at my thing so we did the small navy the medium navy the small painter's tape now we're gonna do the cobalt which i at first um i wasn't sure if i should what's my lip gloss i wasn't sure if i should get this bag because i'm like this looks just like the navy but i'm glad i got it because it gives me like a metallic vibe so this is the cobalt i like it because it looks metallic and this can also, it's very versatile, so I can wear this for a lot of things too. And I also have, of course, the belt to match. So when I said it reminds me of the navy, y'all can see what I mean. Like, it literally looks like the same bag. It's just that this is like a little bit more shiny and metallic. Um... Oh. The next two are like... 
the brighter blues. So we have the small pool blue and the small serenade. So these two are another two bags that I thought would be the same color, but I'm glad I got both of them because you can clearly see a difference. This one is more like on the bright side and this is like more subtle. This one, I don't think they dropped a belt and I'm not sure if they have the belt for this one yet, but I will check. And then we have the pool blue belt, which I think I probably only wore a couple times because this color is very hard to match. I had bought a pair of Jordans thinking that it matched and it didn't. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the blue. So this is the small Ceruline. This is the small pool blue, the small cobalt, as you can see already, totally different colors. The small navy, and then the small painter's tape. And then I also have the medium navy. So you see, they're all different shades of blue. And I feel like that's why I like Telfar as well, because even though he drops the same colors, they're always different shades. So you could wear this with, what the hell? With like a hundred different outfits. All right, I hope I still have you guys' attention. I hope you guys are still engaged. I know it's a lot, a lot of bags and I could have did two videos, but I'm just gonna keep it at one so we don't have to go back into all of these bags. So now we're gonna go into the more neutral colors. And that's, I feel like that's it for all the bright colors. So you guys made it to the end with all of the bright colors and all my favorite bags. Now we're just going to go into the bags that I got just, that I bought just, just to buy. Like not even because I really, really wanted them. So this one is number 29, right? 29. So for all the people that were saying it's given 10, it's given 2, it's given 7, it's given 13. We're now at 29. Okay. That's just show I spend too much money and y'all need to take both my cards away from me. You know what's crazy? They're both debit cards. They're not even credit cards. So when I get a credit card, it, I feel like it's going to be over. But this is the small silver. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this bag is still in mint condition. Honestly, I don't even remember wearing this. I'm not even sure if I did. No, I don't think I ever wore this bag. I think I attempted to and it didn't work or I probably wore it once. So this is the small silver. I really, really like this bag because it's just so, I don't want to say shiny, but it's just, I just like how silver looks. And I don't know if you can, guys can tell from my jewelry, but I am a silver girl. I don't really like gold. I have one gold ring and that's only because it was my great grandma. Like even my earrings, everything is silver. I'm a silver person, so... I knew I had to get this bag. I also had the belt, but unfortunately I cannot find it because I left it in my grandma's living room, like in the box and everything. And she said she put it in my room, but my grandma has a tendency to throw things out when it's not where it's supposed to be. And her living room is so sacred to her. So I think she threw it out. I did not see it for about a year and I got this bag over a year ago. I'm still looking for it. Never got to wear it. Never even got to take the plastic off. So when I find it, you guys will hopefully see it. But for right now, we're still going to count it as a belt that was purchased because it was delivered to my house and I opened it. I just never got a chance to wear it. So this is the small silver. I had a different order up, but I'm just going to do a different bag right now because I feel like it makes sense. This is the small bronze. Now, I got this because I felt like it wasn't going to be a big difference from the silver. So, I was definitely wrong. <laughs> this is the small bronze. And it's giving granny bag. <laughs> it's really giving granny bag. Because I bought it because I wanted it to be, I thought it was going to be this. But as you can see, it's nothing like this. And I only wore this bag once. And I don't think I'm going to wear it again. So, I really have this bag for no reason. Like, I bought it because I thought it was silver. And it's it's not silver at all so i have no bronze clothes i have no clothes like this and i have no belt i have nothing to match this so this bag is literally just sitting here collecting dust but this is the bronze and this is the silver one yeah number 31 is the small gold this is not the gold i was expecting it to be but i mean i guess it still works like when i hear gold 
I think of what's a good thing to think of with gold? Like to compare it to what? Bright yellow. Yeah, I guess. Like bright yellow. And this is just not it. I mean this looks good when you have it on because I also have the belt. But this is not ideally what I thought when I think of gold. They have a copper bag and I actually think the bag is I don't like the color. But when I hear gold, I think of what their version of the copper bag is. But I mean, it still goes like a lot of things. The only time I wear this bag is probably if I have on like denim. Because I feel like the gold looks good with denim. I wore it with a denim dress before, but I literally wore this bag twice. And both times was with was with an all denim outfit. So if you're looking for like a bright gold, this would not be the bag for you but if you like this color then i guess i'm not really a fan to be 100 percent honest but i already purchased it and did not want to send it back so this is the small gold and the gold belt okay the next bag i only i bought these for specifically the fall season because i feel like fall is when people wear like a lot of brown and tan and things like that so this is the small dark chocolate what do they put it as yeah they have it as on the website then they have it as dark chocolate or chocolate and then on the description it says dark brown so i just say dark chocolate but it's it's so cute i wore it a lot of times in the fall time because i wore it with like not not sandals these flats i have and then these pants i have from pretty little thing that matches to the t and then i was like you know what i might as well get the medium so I got the medium chocolate too. And as y'all know, if I got the small and this, I also have the belt. And everything, it goes by so good. I think the pants I had was, it was half dark brown and then half cream. So I just wore it with a cream top and then I put the belt on and everything went great. So this color is good this is probably a bag i would not wear in the summer because it's not bright enough like it actually is dark but it's so cute and then to match not to match but to compare it to the cream this is the small cream this is another bag i actually wore in the fall too so this is them together these are probably the only two bags i was wearing when fall started and this belt when they first dropped the cream last year it didn't have a belt they dropped the belt this year and that's how i ended up getting it so two brown belts well cream but two brown and then the rest of these bags okay guys so once again i hope you guys are still paying attention so we've completed the five unboxing bags and we have done this whole page of shoppers so now <laughs> you guys are probably like there's more sierra why is there more okay so now we're gonna get to the collabs so my well there's only two bags for the collabs but these i think are also my top five because it's just that bag and I know you guys probably just seen that a little bit. But we have the UGG and Telfar collab. This one is very lengthy because I wore this every day. For like a month, I wore this same bag. So this one is the chestnut one. And my mom hates this bag. <laughs> and my grandma too. Like they don't like it at all. And I'm just like, what's your problem? Like why don't you like the bag? So this one... But both of these bags, I have the matching Uggs. So, I think I have pictures in them. So, I'm going to put the pictures too. But this one is one of my favorites because I just love the color. Like, I love I love how this looks. I bought, like, a little jacket from Sheen to match this. I bought the Uggs to match this. It's just, like, who could not like this bag? Like, come on. Like, this is so cute. The only thing is, my, my winter coat, I had bought a Sam coat, was black. So, it's, like... It, it it matched only if I wore my sun my chestnut sunburst Uggs. So I didn't wear this one a lot. But you see this black one, this black one, baby. This black one, yeah. Every day I wore this bag. And my mom, she likes this one. My grandma, she liked this one. I think my boyfriend liked this one too. A lot of people like this one. And I like it too. So it's just so cute. Like it's so convenient. I wish it didn't get linty fast. 
because this one didn't get too lengthy but i think you could probably see it more because it's black but yeah it has the straps and i don't know i feel like the bags they're all the same size but i feel like these i was able to fit more and fill to the top so that's another reason why i liked it more but i didn't even show you guys how it look on me i'm sorry i just showed y'all the bag but this is how it looks let me pull down my shirt this, this is how it looks so this is how i would wear it well not i would wear it. this is how i was wearing it in the winter time in the summertime i usually um unless if i'm going like out to eat or just outside just for anything i just stuff the the straps in and wear it like this i know a lot of people like tie the straps around this i actually feel like that looks so hideous like i feel like it's so ugly and don't do that <laughs> but everybody have their own styles but i would usually just wear it like this or like this and call a day so yes this is the ug and telfar collab this is the chestnut and this is the black they also had the gray but i don't know why i didn't buy that one but i don't think i'm gonna get it for the next season because i bought a gray bag already so i don't think i need another gray bag but <laughs> all right so drum roll i have these still here drum roll these are the last three bags, guys. Thank you for sticking with me till the end, okay? I know it was a lot. It was a lot for me to record and sort. So I know it was a lot for you guys to listen and watch. Um, I have more things I wanted to add in the video, like how I style them and my process of getting my first bag and da da da, -da. I think I want to make that into a second video because it's a, this video is already extremely, 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 extremely long. And I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> So, yeah. So, these, um, I've never worn these bags. I don't think anybody even knows that I have these bags. But this is the Telfar Duffel that was only available through Telfar TV. And I think they dropped it on the regular um, Telfar.net website like a couple weeks ago. But, boom. This is the small. Okay, as you can see, I definitely did not wear it yet. I'm going to wear it after this video and it's cute like it's literally it's literally small like this could be like a little purse wherever you're going well not really a purse but you know what i mean like a little shoulder bag wherever you're going this is literally the small i like this because it's it's different and you see it has the the tc his um logo on it um i didn't even open it yet so i don't even know what the inside looks like and i've had this bag since what we're in may of 2022 i think i had it since november of 2021 and it's been sitting behind my grandma couch so i'm surprised she didn't throw that out like my belt but okay so this is not how you open the whole bag this is just like a little pocket at the side i'm probably not gonna open this one i'll probably open the other one yes i have a couple so this is the small <laughs> this is the medium <laughs> I know I have a problem. I know I have a problem, okay? I know you guys are probably saying it. I know I have a problem. This one I can open to show you guys. Oh, this tissue. Oh, good thing I opened it. It comes with another strap. So I don't even have to wear it as a shoulder bag. I can wear, duh, it can wrap around me. Oh, wow, Telfar, you guys are doing good. I didn't even know that. Okay, so you open it. Um, the tissue paper's in here, but it's still good size. It's not the biggest size. I feel like probably not much could fit in this, but that's okay. That's not a problem. You know why that's not a problem? Because I also have the large. <laughs> so this is the large duffel. This is probably gonna be like my spending night bag or my little weekend bag or even like a carry-on. Yeah, a carry-on. Wow this is huge this is bigger than my face <laughs> but this is the um this is the large the large duffel same thing with the the logo and i could show y'all oh this is so cute even the zipper has his logo that's that's so cute look at this hold on yeah that's so cute so I opened it. Yeah, this one is way bigger. This one also comes with the strap. So this one is way, 
way bigger. I'm not taking out all the tissue paper right now, but I'm gonna show you guys the size comparison. This is so cute, I like this. So this is the large. This is the medium. And this is the small. So remember when I said the red was the only bag that I have all three sizes in? Clearly I have it in the duffel too, I forgot. So yeah, this is cute, this is cute. Wow, I'm excited because I actually re-recorded this video. So I think I put it on correctly, um, but I think I wish it was to be these pants right here. 